If you are in a Web3 security for a while, you probably remember that Immunify not long time ago, I think a few months ago, announced their new product, Immunify Vaults. Vaults allow protocols and projects to deposit upfront some kind of collateral, some kind of sum of money in different tokens to show that they actually have the liquidity, they have the value, the money to pay to white hats when they find report and submit in a legitimate way bugs in their protocols because there were some cases where white hats reported bugs and then the protocol refused to pay or just disappeared and was removed from immunify and the idea here that the white hat will have better trust in the process and immunify and in the protocols by seeing that the protocol protocol actually putting money in the stake that will be used to pay for white hats. Immunify is a Web3 bug bounty platform. You probably already know that. So it connects between Web3 bug hunters to protocols. And the vault's idea is to minimize the trust between the white hats to the protocol. So the white hats see that there is money actually to the protocol to pay in case there is a security issue that was reported. It's also called something like proof of funds. The protocol is, is basically giving a proof that it has the funds. And it makes the whole process of payments between white hats to the protocols much easier, on-chain, transparent, which is great. So how Immunify Vaults work? It's basically a safe, Gnosis safe. You're probably familiar with Gnosis safe. If you are not familiar, it's a smart contract wallet and also a multi-sig, multi-signature wallet. And safe allows you to have much safer programmable wallets. So instead of just having one private key that signs transaction and can send money from a vault or a wallet or account. In Gnosis Safe, in multi-sig wallets, you can define that there are three signers for the vault, for instance, and you need two out of three signatures in order to validate a transaction and send money out of the account. So you can define how many signatures you want and how many threshold, whatever threshold you want. It could be two out of three, it could be one out of one, three out of five. And obviously the more signatures a vault have or a safe have, and the more signatures require, required, the safer it is. Because you need, if you want to hack the safe, you need to hack all those private keys uh, or maybe three of them, depends how many you need in order to execute a transaction. So it makes the whole process much safer of storing funds. Now, the current state of the Immunified Vault is that the project has a vault and only the project funders uh, and owners can access the money in this vault and sign transaction. And they can deposit tokens, they can deposit assets, ETH, native assets, stable coins, whatever asset they want. And then you can see in the vault, in the safe wallet, how much money the protocol deposited into the vault. So this is a screenshot from Immunify website and you can see how it works. Basically, there is the uh, vault powered by SAFE. The protocol is the only one who controls this vault and you can issue payment. The protocol can issue payment to white hats when they have successful submission of an issue, a security issue, and then automatically it's gonna be splitted between the white hat and Immunify. 